familia, it's Alex. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. As you guys can see from the title, today I am reviewing some single shadows per se. These are like single water tints. These are from Flower Beauty and they are new and these caught my attention back around the beginning of December. I've been playing around with these for over two months now, really getting an idea of how to use these, who are they made for, why would you like them, why wouldn't you like them, and if they are anywhere close to another favorite that I have in my collection that is no longer available on the market. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into this whole entire review. But first, if you're new to my channel, welcome to the familia. My name is Alejandra. I'm an eyeshadow enthusiast with an action project pan. That is something that interests you. Subscribe, join us. And now without further ado, let's get on with this video. I know this is another squirrel moment. I just realized I'm wearing another gray shirt. I feel like I'm wearing a lot of gray lately. I gotta get out of my grayish mood. <laughs> so today, you guys, I am going to review and share with you guys these new watercolor tints by Flower Beauty. The name of these are actually watercolor eye tints. So the main reason why I purchased these, yes, I did purchase these on my own, is because they reminded me very much of something that I really do enjoy. It did not get a lot of hype or I shouldn't say hype it didn't get a lot of love because of the actual applicator and what I'm talking about is the Josie Marin Coco coconut water eye colors these were gorgeous and I have these still and I still use them to this day and they still work perfectly fine mine have not dried out the the dofa has fallen off of them but I still can use them with a brush and they work perfectly fine so when I saw these from flower beauty I wanted to see if they were anywhere close to these because I love these so very, very much that I wanted to see if these were it. So these come in six different colors. I did purchase all six different colors. You can get these on CVS is where I purchased mine. I had a bunch of coupons, some uh, extra bucks. So you guys, I did not spend more than $20 on all six of these, you guys. I got a steal for them. Now, typically these are about $10 a piece, you guys. So for six, that's $60 in total. I barely spent $20 on these. But again, it's because I had coupons and I used extra care bucks, so it worked out for me in the end. You can also purchase these on the Flower Beauty website, and I don't know if they have arrived at Ulta or will they arrive at Ulta, I am not sure. But you can get them elsewhere if you are looking for these. Now, like I mentioned, these come in six different shades, and I gotta tell you, they're in six different finishes. All six of the shades that I am gonna share with you guys today, I, I feel like there's a good array of shades. You're getting some a pink, you're getting purples, some warm terracotta type of colors, and then a dark grungy brown shade. So you're getting a nice variety of basic colors, I would say. These are color, but they're not like yellow and orange and green and blues. You're getting your typical color shades of these. Now, I will show you up close of everything of these so you guys can see. You These come in a glass bottle. You are getting, let me see how much product are in here. You're getting 4.65 milliliters versus my Josie Marin ones, which I am comparing them to. You're getting 4.7. So you're basically getting almost the same, 4.65, 4.7. So you're not missing out on these. These, I believe, are about 20 some dollars, and these are about $10. So you're getting the same amount of product for half the cost. The beautiful thing about their glass, just like my Josie Marin ones are, you do have to shake them, and some of them you can actually hear a ball, some of them you don't. The Dofo applicator is to die for. I wish... I'm calling it out to anybody who has connections, anybody who knows anybody that makes brushes. You gotta come out with a brush like this because I would love a brush like this. I know I can get uh, doe foot like doe foot things that come in the, those palettes, but I want a brush like this. So the brush on these, you'll see up close of this, is like a triangle teardrop shape. It is perfect to cut your crease, you guys. These are beautiful to apply on the eye without any fuss. You can cut your crease really nice. You can really make a precise line on your eye. I love the applicator. Love it. Love it a hundred times more than the one in the Josie Marin. So far, again, I've had these for two months. They have not dissolved. They have not fallen off like my Josie Marin ones did. For instance, I'll show you. The applicator is gone. It is in the product as we speak. What I normally do is just dab it with a brush and it works fine for me. So I love the applicator on this. The, hands down, my favorite feature of these. 
I do like the color of these. Some of these have more of a pronounced glitter, and I'm using glitter loosely, no pun intended. I'm using it loosely because it's more of like a sparkle and it does stay on the eye. I do not get any fallout from any of the glitter in here. It's more, again, sparkle. I don't get any other fallout because it's, it's mixed in with a wet consistency, and it does, when it dries up, you can see it. Almost all of these, with maybe the exception of two, I would say you definitely can see some sort of sparkle, specifically in direct sunlight. It, through When you apply them, you may not see it exactly right then and there, but over the day, throughout the day, you will see it, especially if you are direct sunlight, or if you are in natural daylight, you will see some sort of glisten on your eye, which is beautiful. These are made for those individuals that want a wash of color on the eye. All of these are considered a water tint, and all the names have the word wash on them. And I'm emphasizing that very, very much because that's what you're gonna get on your eyes, is a wash of color. If you apply these on your eyes, bare eyes, you're gonna get a wash. And when I mean a tint, like a foundation tint or a, you know a, a face tint, what do you call these things? It's not a foundation, but it's a tint. That's exactly what these are. You're not getting a full-blown full pigment, you're getting a wash of it. For me, I was disappointed in that, but that's a personal thing and I wanna make that very clear. For me, I was disappointed because I was expecting it to be as pigmented as my Josie Marin ones, where with one swipe, you're getting an opaque, beautiful color on the eye. With these, you do not you're getting a wash and you will see that in the swatches. You can clearly see my skin going through the actual color. You still get some color, but it is a wash. It's a water color. The best way for me, for the way that I love to wear makeup, is putting it over shadow. I have tested these on their own and I have tested these when I have shadow on. Today I have two different colors on my eyes and they work beautifully over powder. There is no bunching, there is no skipping, there is no uh, fear that you're gonna have some uh, powder being lifted off your eye when you put these on top. These work amazing over the shadows. So that's how I've been using them. If you're somebody who likes to have a wash, something quick and to the point, and you don't wanna have a lot of fuss, you just want something over the lid, this is more like that glossy look, but it dries down. I will make that clear, it will dry down. The only downside to the drying is it takes a little bit. These are not as quick drying as the Josie Marin. Josie Marin, I put it on, I have a few seconds to work with it, and that's the end of that. With these, I realize that especially if I have bare eyelids and nothing else on my eyelids, I have to make sure that I keep my lids open without creasing them and have to sit there for a few seconds and actually fan. I would say the amount of time that you take to have your eyelash glue get tacky, that's the amount of time you would have to take for these to dry on your lids because if you do not do that, you apply them, open your eye up and do your thing, they will crease because they're so watery and they can get a little bit runny if you put too much on that you have to let it set. So these are not that quick out the door kind of product because you do have to take a few seconds and actually fan your eyelids and sit there and make sure that it is somewhat dry for you to open up your eyes. If you do not allow it to at least dry 90% of the, of the product, you will get creasing. These do not crease otherwise. I wore them all day long. Bear in mind, I am not in the hot summer humid months, so I don't know how these are gonna work in the summer, but right now, in the cold weather, they work beautifully. They do not crease on me, they do not fade on me. I do not get any of the sparkle fallout all over my face. Beautiful for that reason. The other thing that I do wanna mention is, and I took a picture of it today, I, why not do it, Alex? I am not perfect. I am not somebody who comes on here and tries to pretend like everything is perfect in the world. My face makeup is always flawless. No. How many times have I had lipstick on my teeth and I make fun of myself all the time? So today when I did my eye look, I did something a little bit different and I made a mistake on my eyelids. I took a close-up picture for you guys to see. One warning I will say is use these as your last step on your eye look because once you put it on, do not put powder on top. They do not work well with powder on top, especially if you're not 100% sure it has dried up. On this eye, I don't know if you could tell, but you will tell in the close-up, I went back in to kind of uh, deepen out my outer V after I applied this on my eyelid, and it got stuck. 
the powder got stuck and you can clearly see the skips of where it got stuck. So for me, that made me realize if I put this as a base, obviously it's gonna, whatever shadow I have is gonna intensify it, but it will get stuck. Cause here it's flawless and here it is not. And you will see that in the picture. So my warning is use these last. Do not put these on first and then go in with powder. You gotta put these on last or you will get that, like that powder getting stuck. Just like a glitter glue, it'll get stuck on your eyelids and then you can't blend it out. Cause trust me, I tried to blend it out and I was blending out my eye look. So I would not recommend that at all. The other thing I do wanna mention is these layer on beautifully. I actually am wearing two different, oh, this one. I'm wearing two different shades today on my eyelids and they do layer on and it does state that you can layer these on. So for instance, if I want to layer this one over and over and over on my eyelid, they do layer on great. Just wait for it to dry to layer on the next layer if you want more of an opaque type of look. Because if you don't, you're putting water on top of water and adding more water to water is not gonna make you <laughs> get any more deeper. It's just gonna be runny everywhere. So my recommendation is put your first layer on, let it dry, then put on your second layer. It does not lift this first layer off. It does not make it crack. It does not make it crumble. You guys can clearly see I have two layers on my eyes, perfectly fine. I have had one layer on, perfectly fine. I have mixed shadows together, two shades together, and they have worked perfectly fine. So I definitely can say that you can layer it on if you do have bare eyelids and layer on the color and you should be fine. Once it sets, you cannot move it. It does not move. It is like drying water. You can't blend it out unless you wash it off. So where you put it is where you put it. You got a few minutes to work with it or a few seconds, I should say, to work with it. And then once it's done, it is done. I am rubbing my eye and nothing is coming off on my finger. I'm rubbing this eye and nothing is coming off on my finger. So once it's there, it's there. It's there, you guys. I definitely wanna test these out in the summertime because I feel like the summer will truly be my my true test with these. These for the Josie Marin ones, the Josie Marins work amazing in the summer. I definitely can trust these in the summertime with my oily lids, awesome. These I'm not so sure about. I will have to revisit these in the summertime. Now out of all the six shades that I do wanna mention, I feel like about three, definitely two, maybe three shades, and you will see that in the swatch if you haven't seen it already. I did swatch these in indoor lighting and then direct sunlight so you can clearly see the sparkle of these so i'm going to share with you guys the picture obviously of the sunlight one there is definitely three i would say that have very pronounced sparkle to it so you are getting violet wash sunset wash and stellar wash these three right here which you'll see on the screen are on the close-up these you can definitely tell they have more sparkle than the other three which is blush wash sienna wash and twilight wash these three have it if you're looking closely but it's not as pronounced as the other three so these three right here i would say if you there's three that have very pronounced sparkle and then there's three that do not so depending on your preference and they did separate them within color stories again you're only getting pinks oranges purples and then a dark brown in this collection i do not know if she's going to come out with any more but i feel like she can expand with different shades. I think it would be nice. They're not as expensive if you compare them to the Josie Marin ones. I'm sure you guys are wondering, well, Alex, is it comparable to your Josie Marin? Here's my pros and cons with them. So with these, they're half the price of these and you're getting the same amount, which I love. I love the fact that she's not skipping out on the amount of product you're getting because it's the same and it's half the cost. I love the applicator on this one. This one also had a doe foot, but it was more like a skinny triangle, like a, like a paddle. And it didn't last long, as you guys can see, they all fell out on almost all of mine. I think one is left that I didn't even put it in the product where it didn't come off. So definitely a winner for this one when it comes to the doe foot applicator. Hands down, absolutely love it. With Josie Marin, I felt though the color is more opaque these are more of a wash. These are more opaque and you can clearly see as far as the bottles. They're both glass, which I do appreciate. They're both twist off, which I do appreciate. You both have to shake them in order for the product to mix together and then apply them to the eye. Downside to this one is you have to wait a little bit longer than the Josie Marin one to dry in your eyelids. This is more pigmented obviously than this one. Both of them can be layered on beautifully 
and they work nice. This one I can trust in the summer. I'll see about this one if I can trust these in the summertime. And the other thing is that Josie Marin came out with your typical neutral bronzy purple colors but they also came out with fun shades i have a turquoise i have this purple one that's very very vibrant so josie Marin wins when it comes to the colors even though i do like the colors of the flower beauty i don't know if she'll come out with fun colors i would love to see some sort of teal some sort of um maybe a dark yellow or like a bright yellow uh, a pink would be really nice i think would like a dark pink i not like this pink but i mean like a dark pink but i don't know if she'll come out with that i don't know those would be fun shades on these do i like these more than my josie marin no because i i'm more of a very opaque type of shadow girl but i can get somewhat to that point on these i can see myself in the summertime putting these two to three layers on my lid as just a one shadow kind of look mascara a gloss on my lips some glossy highlight and good to go it'll give me a nice beautiful summery look which i would like and i'm gonna try it out to see but i i like these i don't love them i don't hate them i like them i'm neutral in between because i can see the benefit of these i can see that i can work with them there's a lot more pros and there are cons to these compared to my josie marin josie marin i fell in love with 100 percent, but unfortunately these are discontinued so if you were wanting something like these josie marin ones but didn't want to be bothered with that applicator situation because i know that's one of the main reasons why most people didn't want to buy them these might be your friend bear in mind you do have to build these up like i mentioned and the fact that the color range is not as out there but some of us might like that i i personally don't mind it my favorite shades i will tell you my favorite shades would have to be these three which is a violet wash i think this is a beautiful shade uh sunset wash gorgeous this is more of a red copper really like this one compared to sienna sienna is more orangey and then the last one which is my all-time favorite one is stellar wash stellar wash is the one that if you were to choose one that you wanted that was super unique to the whole entire collection stellar wash would be your friend stellar wash has kind of like this shifting purple pink uh green reflex it's so pretty you guys it is beautiful this is definitely my favorite out of all of them it has a lot of dimension to it and you can see it through the bottle it's a little bit hard to notice on your lids but if you're wearing it bare and look in the direct sunlight you probably can see it very well i haven't tested that out sitting out in the sun with these you guys because it is very cold it is about to snow when you guys see this video on monday it's already been snowing so i'm not gonna sit out there <laughs> to try to see any type of light with these because i would freeze my little hiney off that is my whole entire review on these flower beauty water tints i haven't seen anybody talk about these and i'm very surprised because these actually caught my attention i do like them i don't love them i don't hate them they're right in the middle i will get more use out of them you guys i've been wearing these on and off throughout the last two months and i've used every single shade and every one of them is beautiful and my favorite obviously i mentioned to you guys if any of this that i've mentioned is something that interests you maybe these are a product for you maybe this is something quick and easy and to the point everyone is liking these cream liquidy products and this is something innovative something different something fun and i think i like it not 100 percent as much as i like my josie marin ones but i still do like it enough to keep them in my collection i'm so glad that i waited two months to review this you guys because i'll be blunt and honest first impression of these i was so disappointed because i was expecting it to be like this very disappointed and if i would have reviewed these back in december i would have gave these a bad rep but because it took the time and really tested these out and played around with them i really got to know them got to enjoy them learned how to use them and i'm able to give you a well-rounded review and that's why i tend not to do many first impressions you guys i really like to use my products before i get on camera because i do not want to eat my words so that's it you guys i'll link these down below if you did purchase any of these please let me know in the comment section and let me know what your thoughts are on these if i missed anything if you have any questions leave them down in the comments i'll be more than happy to answer them for you guys as well videos right over here for your enjoyment until then adios